You're the coolest. No, you're the coolest. No, you're the coolest. No, you're the coolest. Okay, I'm the coolest. Yeah, I agree. Hello, everyone. I'm Pastor Floyd, also known as Big Fat Pastor on social media. And welcome to the Bifrost Bridge Podcast. If you know what the Bifrost Bridge is, then this podcast is definitely for you. We take a look at all things tech, sci-fi, game, and fantasy related in order to help bridge the gap between geeks and the gospel. So this is the inaugural podcast of the Bifrost Bridge Podcast. And for this to actually make any sense at all, I have to explain what Bifrost is and why we're actually podcasting it. Uh, Depending upon your comic book background, there are different ways to pronounce it. First, let's talk about that. Some pronounce it Bifrost. Some pronounce it Bifrost or Bifrost really quick. Uh, And I'm going with Bifrost, which may not sound different to some of you, but already there are a couple of geeks out there who are arguing over how to pronounce it. But the Bifrost Bridge is a bridge that connects Asgard, home of the Norse gods like Thor and Odin, to the world of Midgard, which is the earthly realm where we live here on Earth. Now, before anyone freaks out, yes, I am a Christian. I have not given up my relationship with God to have one with Thor or Chris Helm or anyone else. Okay, I'm still a Christ follower. But I am also a huge comic book fan. And I've been reading comics since I was in elementary school. In fact, the first time I got in serious trouble in school, uh, I got in trouble in second grade because I didn't know my multiplication tables. And I got sent home. And I came back a week later with a memorized, uh, making sure that I would never get kicked out for that again. So uh, kind of embraced knowing your school stuff. But the next time was in third grade, I got in serious trouble for reading comic books at school. I got in more trouble for that than I did for not knowing my multiplication tables in second grade. Um, And apparently they didn't appreciate me disrupting the class with all my comic book tales uh, because they're comic book tales. Uh, But here's the thing, nor did they appreciate that I knew what a cesium beam was in third grade just from reading Batman comics. So, you know, for me, it's kind of like, you know, potato, potato. Uh, Like, you know what, I'm reading comic books, but guess what? Uh, I knew a whole lot more than most of the third graders. Not that I'm bragging. And for those who are wondering, I'm not a Marvel fan or a DC fan. I am a comic book fan. Uh, Both Marvel and DC uh, and a lot of the other smaller comic book companies, they all have something to offer. They all have something to bring to the table. However... Uh, I am a very huge Batman fan since he is the most dangerous person on the planet for not having any powers whatsoever. So, back on track. I'm I'm still a Christian. I'm a Christ follower, but I am a geek, or a big geek, as my wife likes to say. Um, And sometimes she's smiling, and a lot of times she's just like, I can't believe I married you. But I read comics, and I used to buy lots of them uh, back before I got married, way before I got married. Uh, I do some gaming. Uh, I do Dagger here regularly. Uh, Feel free to Google that. Uh, Probably better if you YouTube it because the videos are awesome. Uh, I don't cosplay, but I will dress up for movies every now and then. And I also love technology. I have way too many electronic devices, again, according to my wife. And I enjoy all sorts of social media interactions with people. I love it. I love connecting with people. All in all, I'm a geek but I'm also a Christ follower. I believe that God loved me so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for me so that nothing would separate me from God's love. Now, a lot of people have a problem with the world of geeks and gaming and science and tech coexisting with the world of a Christ follower. Some think that I definitely should have a problem with it because I'm not just a Christ follower. I'm a pastor. My job is literally to read and study the Bible and help share the truths 
contained within it with others. So I thought, you know what, it would be great to do this podcast and help bridge the gap between geeks and the gospel. There are likely people out there who are geeks and feel the gospel, the good news that God loves you, has no place in their lives. Or uh, maybe there are people who are Christ followers and they feel like they don't want to reject all things geeky. But the reality is that all of these people, all of these types of folks, all of the folks who are into these different things can coexist. I know that they don't have to contradict one another because I live as both and I have no contradictions in my life. So let's get back to the Bifrost Bridge. This bridge connected the worlds of Asgard, home of the Norse gods, to Midgard and other places in what is known as the Nine Realms. Midgard or Earth was just one of what the Asgardians called the Nine Realms. And the Bifrost Bridge was guarded by a god named Heimdall. No one could come or go from Asgard without Heimdall's knowledge and approval. And Heimdall's loyalty rested with Odin. He was like the king or the all-father of Asgard. Now, I realize this may be confusing, but my goal with the podcast, just like the Bifrost Bridge exists to bridge the gap between worlds, my goal with this podcast is to show that there are ways to bridge the gap between geeks and the gospel. And sometimes uh, it may have to go through getting a better understanding of something on either side, but there is a way to bridge the gap. So I plan to have a lot of fun with this podcast. Feel free to post your comments or questions below, and I look forward to answering them as best I can and interacting with everyone. So uh, this is the introduction. Uh, some of the podcasts may be longer, uh, hopefully uh, not too long. But until next time, true believers, and yes, I know that phrase means something absolutely different depending on if you're a geek or a gospel lover, but I'm sticking with it. So again, until next time, true believers.